block C2. So before, when we were doing the lateral glides, we were out on the, the lateral portion of the articular pillar. Now we're just going to be back just a little bit further, kind of on the posterior part of the articular pillar with the MCP. And then instead of doing a lateral glide of the occiput, we're going to use our shoulder to rotate the head to the right even further. So we're going to do a right, um, a right C1 rotation mobilization. So if I put my hand on C2, so right now while you have your partner, find C2. Bring your MCP, your second MCP, all the way across to the right side. So your left MCP should come underneath the cervical spine, all the way to the, the posterior aspect. So you want to be to the right of the spinous process at C2. Okay? So now by doing that, I'm preventing C2 from rotating to the right, correct? So now my hand is still holding on to the oxygen foot like we did before. I'm going to rotate the head to the right. So our rotation is now occurring at C1, but we're blocking C2. And so once we get to the end of rotation, wherever their end is, and be be careful with these on you know normal, you know healthy folks because you're putting a lot of rotation, um, you know on there. In fact, one of the good points to make on this is when we talk about that pre that pre technique hold, this is a really important time to do that pre technique hold because you're putting oh you're putting C1 2 in in range rotation, which can be stressful to the vertebral artery. So the first thing that we do is come here, block C2 kind of take them to the end of the rotation and just you know, find out, does that change anything for you? Maybe have them count backwards from 10. Do you have any double vision? You know, yeah. do some things to check their, you know, any dizziness and things to check their cranial nerves. If that's good, you've held that once for about 30 seconds. Okay, then proceed and, and go in and do your technique. Is it hold it for 30 seconds first? Yeah, hold it for about 30 seconds first. Make sure nothing pops up in there. Okay. I'm blocking C2, rotate the head to the right, and I'm using my shoulder to just continue the rotation. I'm pushing through the temple to make that rotation occur even further while I'm blocking C2. Are you preventing C2, like the spinous process, from rotating this way? Um, I'm, so his question was, if I'm, if I'm a vertebrae, right, so the spinous process is here and articular process is here, am I preventing the spinous process from moving this way. That's not my main intent. My main intent is to keep the articular pillar from moving posterior. 